Hey guys, we're talking about the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the black, royal, and white colorway. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Costa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you pound that subscribe button so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So what you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the black, royal, and white colorway, aka the Royal Ones. Man oh man, glad to have caught these shoes. I am a sucker for Jordan 1's. What can I say? Got these guys early from Fine Line. I had to pay that pretty extra penny, but be responsible. If you can't afford resell sneakers, please don't buy them. And in short, let's get straight into the sneaker review, guys. So getting into the review and starting from the inside, you'll see that the Nike Air logo and description is in there. Going to the laces, uh, you'll see that there are some black laces here and also it came with a blue pair of laces as well as you can see. Also at the toe box, you'll see a really nice tumbled leather in the royal color there with a little bit of the full grain black leather as well. On the lateral portion of the shoe, again you'll see the black leather as well as the blue royal color there with the tumbled leather and you'll see the same on the medial side of the shoe. The back of the shoe also has the tumbled leather as well. At the bottom of the shoe, you'll see the Nike swoosh along with the Nike insignia. The main thing that stuck out with me with these particular Air Jordan 1s is what everybody always asks. Is the leather tumbled? And I would say yes, yes, and yes. Especially in the royal blue section, you'll see that it's super, super tumbled if you look close. And again, you'll see that the rest of the shoe consists of a full grain smooth kind of leather. Not as tumble as the royal blue section, but completely, as I said earlier, analogous to the bread ones. I actually have a pair of bread ones here, and if you look at them side by side, they look pretty similar. Another quick point that I wanted to touch on is that online I've seen a lot of fakes, so be careful for the fakes guys. Really analyze the leather quality of the Jordan 1 Royal that you see, and also make sure to check that it doesn't come with any strange shoelace giveaways. Uh, specifically, coming with an extra pair of white laces or uh, the laces coming uh, rolled up in a snail kind of form. You do not want to see that. You will know automatically, alert, 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 it is fake. So be careful, guys. Sizing wise, I went with uh, a half size lower than I usually do. I went with a 12. Usually I get a 12.5 US men's size, but I know that Air Jordan 1 Royals, Air Jordan 1s in general, fit me comfortably in a size 12. So don't uh, feel uh, shy about going a half size down if you need to. So Casa question of the day. What do you guys think of these shoes? Will you be copying? Also, what are your favorite releases of 2017 thus far? My biased opinion is that these are my favorite because I love, love, love Air Jordan 1s. So my sneaker talk is up, guys. Thank you, I appreciate all of you guys. I will have an on foot for these particular shoes on Wednesday. Please stay tuned, put on your notifications if need be. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this information. And until next time, guys, deuces. Hey guys, if you wanna watch more sneaker videos that are dope sauce, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the link down below that says Casa Station. My name is Zoe, and until next time, deuces. Thank you.